Hi everyone, this is Greg once again and welcome to this metal songwriting video. This video is called Inside Chord Melodies. So we're going to talk about some melodies that are being played inside chords. I'm going to play for you example number one right now and I'm going to explain how I put some melodies inside my chord progression. So let's see example number one. So, in example number one, I had uh, this melody here. And then I put those chords, the following chords. E, power chord. Uh, I used the root note of E and the fifth, and then I had the melody. A G power chord, I had the root note of G and the fifth and then the melody. Then I, I, I went to B, which I had the B, the root note and the third and then the melody. A, I had the root note and the fifth and on top of that the melody. Then C, I had the root note of C and the fifth, and then the note from the melody. On the, on the second part of this example, I had again an A, a power chord with this B note here that comes from the melody. Here I had C, the root note fifth and these two notes from the melody. Then E used the, the, the root note and the fifth. G root note and fifth once again. Okay, so the second melody was this one. along with the chords that I put over that. So, uh, this is a very nice technique uh, in order to avoid this typical power chord progression. With those small melodies inside the chords, it gets more interesting. Um, if, you, if, you, if you have seen the first videos, uh, the first video of this series, you'll notice that some of the chords that occur um, are the ones on chord voicings that we've uh, seen in the, uh, video number one. But the, the only thing, the only difference is the way that we think. Like, uh, we don't play with the voicings, we just put a melody. Uh, there are a bunch of ways uh, to, to come up with a melody. It's 
basically up to imagination. But there, there are three ways that you can create a melody using a power chord. Let's say that I have a power chord here. Okay, I have root note, I have fifth and I have the octave. I can play around with the root note. I can change the root note. Okay, I can play with the fifth note using notes of the scale, the scale, right? And so on. Or I can I can play I can alternate the octave, which is uh, my personal favorite. Stuff like that. So I created example number one according to this. Uh, to these alternations. Okay, um, as you notice in example number one, uh, from the chords I used the root notes, uh, the fifths, and sometimes the thirds. But um, in music sometimes just the root note is fine. So in example number two I have a theme and I just use the root notes of the chords. Let's see example number two and then I'm going to explain to you. So, as you heard in example number two, I had this theme, I had this melody. And I just used uh, the root notes of those chords. I was in F sharp, so I played F sharp, E, and then D. Those are the chord, uh, the, the chord root notes. So, you heard that the root notes are fine if you, uh, they can do their job. Um, so, yeah, think of that, think of inside chord melodies, it can make your power chord progression interesting or more interesting. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's uh, a little bit of ideas regarding inside chord melodies. Um, you can find all the tabs and everything that you need to know for this video on the description area. Feel free to share this video, to comment or to send me your questions or ideas about future videos. Uh, so yeah, that's all from me and from Crime Sim Team. Uh, cheers and see you in the next video.